Northwestern softball, traditionally, has been about playing really smart softball and really physical softball. So this is about us being really aggressive and, and really identifying each opportunity where we can take advantage of it and attack. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay, we attack right from the start. Go win that first inning, Pats. Play hard and play together. Whoa, whoa, one, two, three. Whoa, guys. Here we go, here we go. We run on emotion, they play with emotion. This is a team that gets on a roll. They're always upbeat, high energy team. The Drogan sisters always seem to bring such a scrappy and fighting team. And this one's definitely no different. It's fun to watch them play and, and battle and bring kind of a lot of intensity to what they do. They love the game. They love competing and it's really been great for us to see our focus ahead, right? I mean, we're excited about what we accomplished last year, but we have a lot of unfinished business. And now as we look ahead, our team's excited to take that next step. They never give up, they never give in, they always believe they can win. Dang, I love them. Wow, I like these. I love the all white. Dang, those are really cool. Let's do one where you're looking at his feet and you're doing that same thing. You're just coming up and squaring up. Do you want me to like stay like this or do you want me to like? You, yeah, give me a little bit of that. Okay. S very slow, think slow motion. Okay. That's what we're shooting for here. Go ahead. Oh my God, I love it. You look great. Thanks. <laughs> Best dress. I better get an award from Uni Swag. Uni Swag, right now, this is best dress 2020. Heck yeah. That'll work too. Yeah, that's fine. Did, uh, was that not yeah. right? No. Oh. Like you had it. Is it the new Unis? Is it the new Unis? Yeah. Is it the new Unis? Yeah. <laughs> it's so tidy. <gasps> My thighs are going to be popping. Oh, no. Oh, Nikki, Nikki, go model, model, model our items. <laughs> You're sweating. <laughs> you got to go one by one. <laughs> Can you guys keep a secret? Yeah. Of course no. we can. Lock and key. I, I mean, it's not, I'm not telling anyone anything. I'm just Wait, saying, Wait, icy. Like what? Uh, uh, icy. Icy, baby. Let's get frosty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start saying that now. Let's get frosty. <laughs> Talking about Wendy's. <laughs> How we are going to take the field this year is that great balance of focus and joy of the game. And that's what I want us to train for today and practice today and really understand what the personality of this team is going to be all about this year. Everybody get it? Yeah. yeah. In the last two months, we've opened up a training facility that is really second to none. Whether we're looking at video, we're training in the weight room, um, our pitchers want to throw on a dirt mound. Our hitters get work in. We can do live inside in a really great open space. Check pass, jump black. Here we go, D. You and me running here, D. Black pass. Here we go, black. Here we go, black. Four, four, four. Go, go. So that facility has elevated um, the kind of work we can do in practice and how efficient we can be. 
You're gonna need this. Three. <laughs> I don't wanna be a mom. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> Trans Performance Center is such a unique space because it has everything we need under one roof. But the thing I'll tell my team time and time again is facilities don't win championships, people do. So we've challenged our team to take full advantage of the opportunity they have in front of them. Weight training for me is like the base for what I can do on the field and honestly it's kind of a um, release away from the field sometimes. It's cool to um, be able to do, be good at something other than softball and I really take pride in like what I can do in the weight room as well as on the softball field. We good? We good yet? <laughs> I mean I guess we can. <laughs> The clear leader in that room is Rachel Lewis. She loves it, she believes in the work, and the standard that she sets for herself and her teammates has elevated our program in every way possible. Um, and it's just fun to watch. What Rachel has done is she's translated that strength to the softball field. Yeah, get on my shoulders. Being able to be in that position and being able to step up a little bit as a leader and step into that role has been huge. And I, I mean, our, the majority of our team is underclassmen, so it, my role I really have seen shift like very quickly. And I almost like wasn't ready for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, people are going to be looking at what I'm doing, and so no more <laughs> emotions and whatever else. Like it's just we got to go out there and play the game, and I know that. And, they know that, and we just gotta go out there and handle our business. Yeah, you get the light one. You know what, can grab that one. Yeah, I wanna keep you safe. When we get on the road early on in the season, our team loves it. It's a chance for us to come together, and the bond that we build is outstanding. I got Justin. <laughs> Delay. Two hours. We can do it. So we're just sitting here doing our homework. Um, I am not, I barely have any homework, but everybody else is. <laughs> We're in a class together and somehow she doesn't have the homework that I have. <laughs> we do appreciate your patience on the delay. We have a special guest on board. <laughs> We're going to take happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Our team forms very quickly, and there's a resiliency there that's born, and that's what we lean on late in the year. How are the freshies doing? Everybody excited? Mm -hmm. yeah. really? First of all, if you want something, go get it. If I get it, like we're not here wishing something's going to happen, we're not hoping something's going to happen. We are going to decide and we're going to make it happen. Everybody get it? Yes. So we have 23 people moving in one direction. It's going to be a fun day. All right? Now, as you put your head on your pillow tonight, okay, and you feel the excitement and you feel the confidence you have in yourself about tomorrow, we've earned that. Everybody get it? Like, we've worked for this moment and this excitement, so let's go out and, and go have some fun. Our message will be the same from game number one to game number 40, and that's 
Let's go and attack our opportunity and let's see what we can learn from that opportunity and get better as a team. What kind of growth can we have on that day? Now we've got some really exciting chances early on, um, but the maturity as team is all about us taking it one day at a time. We know we all have really good talent and we all believe in each other and believe in ourselves, but it's like the way we have fun playing the game, we don't think about that on the daily. So it's like, it's just cool to have that environment where it's like we are holding each other to that high standard, but we're not stressed about it every day. Northwestern coming off their best season in a decade, comes into this tournament ranked 14th ranked team in the nation. Yeah, when you have the freshman of the year as your pitcher and a first team catcher, you're in good shape. Your battery is setting you on the right tone, but Maeve Nelson again with her hitting, her ability to really swing that bat. Rachel Lewis at the top of that lineup and, and showing some seniority there. This is going to be a tight game. Everything matters. She knows it can be the difference of one swing of the bat, so you have to be pinpoint with these pitches. Strong swing by Fox to start things off, but better defensive effort. Dunlap gets, traps it, and gets right at her on the first pitch. Oh, well this game just lit up in the last inning, the sixth inning, both sides. And the Utes have done it. Utah starts off their season with a win over 14th ranked Northwestern. today where you got to dig deep yeah right you might hit a wall and you got to decide how hard you're willing to work for your team okay, so go. Go score first one two three score first. Go, 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 go. Lewis is the catalyst of this Northwestern offense she is fast she can run bases what we've learned throughout the course of the last few months is that we have real depth in our pitching staff we have six women who have a lot of different looks, have a lot of different strengths, and we're excited to really use those qualities as we put together a complete non-conference non season here as we get started. Yeah, it's because it's my lucky number. It's been with me since I've been like 10 years old. And three has always gone through my family and my mom's very important to me. So yeah, so now I'm double threes. I think we were off to like a slow start at first, but then I think we came together and really like pushed forward and didn't let the first game affect us. I know we know what we have in us and I know today is gonna be a different story. It's not going to bring your face, I promise. Filski, happy Thanks. birthday. I promise it's not going to burn your face. Oh, okay, it's not going to be like hot. No, I'm purposely going to burn your face. No, it's not going to burn your face. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. It's going to be warm, but like it's going to feel nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Thanks, Mac. You might want to like blow up, like, but it might get in your eyes, so close your eyes when you do it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I didn't. I meant like once. Oh. <laughs> oh, four times. It's worth noting, Danielle Williams. She she pitched the earlier game against Tennessee. Ended up taking the loss, but what a tough schedule for Northwestern out here in the Kajikawa. They think they're a team that can match. 
pinch any team pound for pound with home run power. So I'm just really excited to see this offensive matchup against Arizona State. So Lewis first pitch swing and oh man! Wow! And she is sprinting the bases. One nothing Northwestern. One swat. One run. Scratching, trying to find a way on base. Newport, first pitch swinging deep and gone. Ton of power. Chapman, deep center field, deep center field. What a catch by Schellmeyer! Well, she's her foot speed. She she picks him up and puts him down. An athlete right yeah. there. As you get ready to go to sleep tonight and get right into recovery, like it's okay for this one to hurt. You understand what I'm saying? Like this is, you've got to feel this if we want to get on the other side of it. We've got to, we've got, we're not going to run from this. We're not going to shy away from it. Come on, let's, let's go get a win tomorrow, guys. All right, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got and challenge each other. Challenge yourself. All eyes on that game tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, ready to play some ball? Yeah. Be brave, give everything you've got to the game today. Everybody get it? Yeah. Like, be brave. Let's go get this ball game. Here we go, we work together. Yeah, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So five games in, um, what I what I see is that our offense is really dynamic. We have a lot of different ways to score, a lot of different people who can do it. Um, but most of all, again, I've been saying this all along, I think we have a really deep pitching staff who can really complement each other well. And what I liked about our offense today against Portland State was we just kept the pressure on the whole game, generated a lot of offense, and then the long ball came through for us again. I have been waiting to do that. I have been saying. It's not like I was looking forward to it, but I was just like, come on, when are we going to do it? <laughs> nice. Nice. Are you ready, Nuke? Like, you ready, Nuke? W and R books. Come on. We only get this group um, once with the people that we have, um, the staff and the players, so just have fun and enjoy it. So for an opening weekend, we really challenged this group, and for us to take that next step as a, as a team, we needed to really challenge our team, and um, I think they responded well. Uh, had a couple of chances to finish some games, and we didn't, but we'll learn from that, and we'll, it's a great opportunity for us to be facing these teams now and, and um, get back to Evanston and get back to work. Let's go get on that airplane. Yeah.